Tell me when you started. It's already started. Okay, so here we are, part two. We tried the banana DNA extraction last week and that was not very successful. So what we've done is made a blueberry extract from these old blueberries, salt, soap, and 90% isopropyl alcohol, which you cannot use 50% or 70%. Like It probably will not work. It's a little more expensive, but it is definitely worth it, isn't it, Caleb? Yeah. So what we're gonna do now, since we've used this paper towel as an effective filter to separate the extract uh, from the pulp, we're going to now have our moment of truth while we're adding the ice cold 90% isopropyl alcohol and see if we can get any DNA separated from this mixture. So we're mixing it up. And with any luck, the DNA will move into the layer with the alcohol because it's insoluble in the alcohol, which means it cannot dissolve. So as you can see, we have a bit of a white layer forming. So I'm going to add some more alcohol. It's ice cold. The temperature difference is uh, allowing that to um, work. If you can see the bubbles in close up here, you can see some of the DNA coming out of these old blueberries. And it's going to get more dramatic with time. Caleb, do you see that jelly-like stuff in there? In the white, whitish layer? What is it? D. D. DNA. DNA. What do all living things have? They're made of what? Cells. Cells. And what do all cells have? DNA. DNA. And do they give you your proper uh, characteristics like how tall you are, the color of your eyes, and how fast you can run? No. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. Characteristics. What is the, what is the word? Characteristics. Characteristics. Very good. High five. Okay. And that is um, our lesson for this time. As you can see, a good close-up of the DNA from blueberries. You can do it from bananas, various fruits, or pretty much anything. Using a Ziploc bag, crushing everything up, adding a tablespoon, a, a teaspoon of salt, shaking it up. Sorry, stop. And also a, a third cup of water. And then also um, a tablespoon of the regular dish soap. And there you have it.